So welcome to part two of our differentiation using the chain rule. This is going to be much shorter than the last video and we're just going to use the last example of the last video to see how we can get a shortcut. I'm also going to introduce differentiating sign just so that we can look at a more complicated example of um, differentiating using the chain rule. Let's just have a look at our last example and see if we can use this to work out a shortcut to differentiating the function in one go. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that inner function or treat that inner function as if it was just an x. And imagine all we had to do was differentiate 4x to the 8. Now if we differentiated 4x to the 8, we'd get 32x to the 7. Now it's what we're going to do, so instead of 32x to the 7, we're going to use that inner function and say that's 32 times 3x to the 5 plus x to the 7. And then all we've got to do is multiply that result by that inner part differentiated. So it becomes 15x to the 4 plus 1. Now, let's look at this example here. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to treat that as y equals x to the 8. So we multiply by 8 and take one off the power. So there we go. We've got y dash equals 8 times that bracket to the power of 7. And now all we have to do is multiply by that inner part differentiated. And that inner part differentiated is 6x plus 2. And that's our solution. Let's see a slightly different one. This is kind of a bit of a bonus bit now. And that's given that y equals sine x, and we'll look at these later on, we know that um, y dash equals cos of x. So let's look at a chain rule, chain rule problem using sine x. So if y equals sine of 4x cubed plus 2x minus 8, well, we're going to treat it as if it was sine x. And sine x goes to cos x. So sine of this, we'd expect to go to cos of the same thing. But because we've got a function within a function, we've just got to multiply the whole thing by that inner function differentiated. And that inner function differentiated is 12x plus 2, so we multiply by 12x plus 2. In the description below, you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.